My name's Jason Roberts. I'm a senior research scientist with the Australian Antarctic Division and also a contributed staff member to the Antarctic Climate and Ecosystems Cooperative Research Centre. I was always much more interested in the science side of things and saw that, you know, one of the biggest science challenges um, for, the, for the world actually was what's happening in Antarctica. So I was lucky enough to be based here. I mean, this is the largest concentration of Antarctic and Southern Ocean scientists in the world. Things like um, how the climate's changing, what are the impacts going to be for things like changing sea levels, changing storm frequencies. Um, so some of the work we're currently doing is extracting information from, a, from an ice core in Law Dome, so that's um, near Casey Station in Antarctica, pretty much due south of Perth. Uh, first time I went to Antarctica, 10 years ago, the science took me there. It is one of the few places on Earth where everyone from all nations are genuinely collaborative. The Antarctic Treaty, actually science is the currency of the treaty. It is how, pe how nations demonstrate that they're serious about Antarctica, that they're, they're doing work, they're, they're trying to understand Antarctica and, and go forward. I mean, Antarctica is a vast place and it, as you can imagine, it's really difficult to do science. So it tends to be, uh, more and more so, science tends to be collaborative. Where do you see it leading us? To make informed decisions. So I think the, one of the, the big things that can make a big difference to Australia is the work I was talking about earlier about the, the, the frequency of droughts in eastern Australia. So some, some decisions about water security, water infrastructure, doing sensible planning and, and mitigation for, for potential risks associated with that. I think that's, you know, that could make a, a big difference. The other project that I'm involved with, the ICECAP project, uh, where we're actually surveying the ice sheet. We're actually using an old, um, really lovely old aircraft. It looks like something out of an Indiana Jones movie. It's a modified DC-3. It was actually built in 1942. It is a glorious thing. So, so our main collaborator with that is actually the USA through the University of Texas at Austin. They supply a lot of the, the scientific equipment and technical expertise. Once penguins get on the land, they tend to be fairly inquisitive and fairly fearless. So even a little Adelie penguin, I've even heard stories of them attacking the Aurora Australis, the ship behind us.